Uh, back in 19, the 1920s, 25 to about 1940, uh, a lot of this area was in agriculture. When the city of Providence took it over or for the water supply, there was a large planting operation. And some of the species they planted were, were white pine, red pine, uh, Norway spruce, uh, but a lot of red pine. Uh, come to find out uh, later on it had some insect and disease issues, uh, so we did a fairly large program to reduce the, the stocking of red pine and also to recoup some of the investment that was made in the, the planting and the thinnings and the prunings that previous foresters uh, conducted in those stands. Uh, it was a, and a lot of the sites were not like the one we're at right now. It was not a particularly good site. Uh, it's pretty droughty, pretty dry. Uh, after the harvest, we've got a lot of invasive species that came in. Uh, around that time also, we were noticing a lot of deer herbivory on, on hardwoods and other plants. Uh, so one day I was doing some research on the internet and came across a fellow from the Forest Service, a botanist who was his pretty interested in, in, in deer and invasive species and that whole kind of interaction between the two. So I sent him an email. He responded pretty quick and in two days he was down here. Uh, checking out the site. Uh, he worked for Northeast Area uh, State and Private Forestry uh, and one of the programs that they had at the time or one of the grant programs was for forest health. That was kind of his his area. So we came up with this proposal uh, to treat the invasive species in about a 200 acre block in this area and also to put up a uh, a deer fence basically to fence in about five acres where the red pine had been harvested uh, and a lot of these invasive plants were coming in. Uh, a lot of glossy buckthorn was the, the main one and that's kind of what we have, have behind me at this point. 